do not underestimate Asian teams. It might seem like an easy thing to remember, but we tend to always forget it. Do not underestimate Asian teams, especially when they come from China, Korea and Taiwan. But why shouldn't we? And why do we underestimate them in the first place? You certainly know Team Liquid and Luminosity. Luminosity. Obviously, after they won the major in Columbus, I was all like... Brazil, Brazil, Brazil. By the way, not a single Brazilian pictures himself this way. Then Team Liquid. Like any American team is getting hyped out of proportion for every single tournament they play in. Then we have Tai Lu, a Chinese team so famous that they barely gathered 200 followers on Twitter before the Dreamhack Malmo this week. Those three teams were in the same group. So guess who were the favorites? Luminosity and Team Liquid. Obviously, right? I guess you forgot the number one rule in esports once again. Do not underestimate Asian teams. Guess who got upset? And I laughed. I called the rest in peace North America and I thought to myself, this is great. Now Luminosity will play against Tai Lu and have an easier win. Tai Lu did beat Team Liquid in the best of one, but it was a best of one, it's not worth anything, right? Then happened the unbelievable. Tai Lu took down Luminosity in the best of three. Mmm, unbelievable you said? I guess you forgot the number one rule in esports once again. But what if this was a fluke? Well, what if it wasn't? I mean, Tai Lu did play pretty well this tournament, and Asian team have a habit of taking down our western gods. Do you remember the early days of League of Legends? In those days, North America and Europe were the beasts. No one could beat them, up until Asia arrives. Taiwan upsets Moscow 5, and Korea starts to win everything there has to win. In StarCraft and Warcraft 3, it is an understatement to say that Korea and China have been dominating. Even in the Counter-Strike 1.6 days, Asia was underestimated. Brazilians all remember MIBR winning the ESWC in 2006, but we were very quick to forget that Istro, a Korean team, took the second place in 2008. As for Global Offensive, we are in the same situation League of Legends were a few years back. It's been about one or two years that Counter-Strike Global Offensive came back to the front page. We got used to the Europeans battling each other for the title of world champion. Just as we got used in League of Legends for Europeans to battle each other for the title of world champion. But this world only took in consideration Europe and North America. Now that Brazil found a way to qualify to those tournaments, we suddenly have a Brazilian team, Luminosity, winning a major. It took Luminosity, former Kaboom and former KD Stars, about a year to finally win an international tournament. China had their first appearance a few months ago, and they already upset a major champion. And I would be very surprised if Korea failed to jump in the hype train. Believe me, they won't be there for the joke. We really have to all remember the most important rule of esports. Do not underestimate Asian teams.